Hello, boys and girls. My name's Bootsy Games. Um, did you like that accent? Did I have you all fooled? Today, space. The final frontier, as far as we know. I'm playing some Kerbal, and my objective is to get into orbit. Yes, it's something I've only done once or twice. Not very good at, but, you know, hey-ho, let's have a go. That rhymed, and I'm impressed <laughs> with myself. Right, let's go on to my saved game. Let's do this. Uh, into the vehicle assembly building. Right. Every good spaceship starts with a, co a cockpit. Oh my god, right? That reminds me of a story. Um, I, I saw on this website for really slutty women um, that you can get underwear that have cockpit written on the front. How bad is that? Yeah, true story. Right. Oh, it's not really a big command module. It's only going to fit one Kerbal in there. Oh, look at the Kerbal's running around down there. Oh. I'll let you into a little secret. Space is my everything. Space is like my child. I've always loved space, and it's what my career path is hopefully going to be if I can pull off my plan correctly. I've always wanted to be an astronomer or an astrophysicist. Not necessarily a, an astronaut or space engineering. Not that kind of area, but more like the theoretical thinking behind space. That's what my degree is uh, after my current degree, which is in finance. <laughs> I'm going to have multiple degrees for some reason. Anyway, right. Uh, I'll let, let you in on another little secret. Every spaceship needs two things, crucially. Two very crucial things. And I'll show you what they are. Uh, an SAS module. Now, if you don't know what SAS stands for, it stands for Stability Augmentation System. And what that means is... It's going to stabilize our ship during launch. Um, it stops it from spinning round and round due to any like imbalance in thrusters or anything like that. And there's another thing we're going to need, which is this, an RCS fuel tank. And what RCS does is it stops us from uh, moving on our axis during flight. So imagine you're taking off in your spaceship and this giant gust of wind blows you in the penis and you just you just fall to one side. What the RCS does would um, use your onboard computer and then activate a thruster in a certain direction and bring you back up into position. So, what do we need next? We need... that's a solid rocket booster. We don't need those solid rocket boosters. We need a fuel tank. Let's stick two on for now. It's a very light spaceship. I don't know if this will get us to space, but it's worth a try. Uh, Engine max power, 200, 215. We want that little bit of extra power. And it's the right size anyway. Right. Another thing we're going to need is some source of power. Because when we're in space, our battery's going to die. Our battery's going to die real quick. Right. Oh, wait, no. Get rid of that. Change it to symmetry mode, where we have one on each side. Stick one there. And we're going to stick another one right there. Look at that. And now they extend out when we get to space and they'll charge our batteries. Right, oh yes, we also need, uh, under control I think it is, yes, we need RCS thrusters. Just in case we get pushed off, off target for any reason. Uh, select those, whack them up there, some on the top. And let's get some more down the bottom. Yes. Oh my god, that Kerbal just spawned out of another Kerbal. They just have babies down there. Jesus Christ. Um, this ship is looking pretty sick. What else can we add to it? Can we add any, like, racing stripes? No, we won't need any wings. Uh, delta wings down here, look. Um, oh, uh, delta wing. Radical air intake. It doesn't even have a description. It must do something, though. An air intake normally... Uh, increases the oxygen level within a combustion engine to create more thrust. But that doesn't seem to be necessary of what we're doing here. Unless I add it down there or something. Right. Uh, let's get a little bit of a mobility enhancer on here. Uh, so when he gets out his cockpit, he can climb down and perform the necessary repairs on our solar panels. I don't know if you can even do that. I'm hoping you can. Oh, and what else we're going to need are some onboard batteries battery packs. We'll strap them. Uh, we get just uh, dual symmetry on this one. And we'll strap them up here. No. We'll strap them. Right. Damn it! We'll put them here. We'll put them there for now. 
<laughs> do they have to be connected to stuff? I don't even know. What's this? Some little generator. No, I don't need that. Oh, wait. What we are going to need are some stability enhancers such as this. What this would do, if I can attach it to the spaceship, I think that, yeah, that'd be alright. Actually, no, I can't have it knocking into the, uh, I can't have it knocking into the solar panels. There we go. No, it needs to be higher up. About there. These are going to keep us stable before launch. And then, actually, we need to swap this over. Yeah, that would, no, they need to be in one. There we go. Right. Let's take this bad boy to the launch pad. Kill the launch pad and proceed. There was obviously something already on the launch pad that didn't get off the launch pad. Not a problem. Right. Let's see how far we can get. Oh, if we don't freeze. Here we go. We are back. Just wait for the FPS to level out. Come on. Come on. There we go. Right. Before we take off, we're going to activate our RCS and our SAS modules. Um, you can't see them working right now, because but when this takes off, you'll see these thrusting. Haha, <laughs> thrusting. Right. Hopefully, if everything works, um, what should happen is if I press spacebar, our main engine should ignite and the, uh, this should let go of us. So let's have a let's have a go. Hey, <laughs> and he's off. Clean as you like. Oh my god, this spaceship looks awesome. I have so much faith in my aeronautical engineering skills now. I might become an aeronautic space engineer. It's pretty loud, I'm not going to lie. I could just turn that down in editing though. I'll record separately, an audacity. And then through my program. We are at 200 meters a second. A second, squared. That's how fast we're going. We are at 30,000, 3,000 feet in climbing. T minus 45 seconds. Halfway out of deep atmosphere. We got this. Uh, our fuel tanks might be half empty. That's not a problem. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay. When in doubt, strap more rockets to your ship. Oh my god. Oh look, the moon! We'll get there one day. Definitely. Okay. It's gonna get... The faster we go, the easier and easier it will get. And the higher we get, the easier it will get because the atmosphere is less dense, less resistance, less air resistance to keep our rocket down. And less gravity, actually. Slightly. Don't quote me. Slightly less gravity. Gravity is the weakest force. There are four forces that we know of right now. Well, you could you could uh, count plasma if you want, but gravity, electromagnetism, weak nuclear forces, and strong nuclear forces. Gravity, right? Get this, is so weak that you could pick something up. Imagine that. The entire Earth is pulling that object down. So imagine picking up a hammer. The entire Earth is trying to pull that hammer down, but you can pick it up. That's how weak gravity is. All right, we're pretty high up in space now. I'm gonna slow down my f my uh, just make sure I have enough fuel for any manoeuvres that we want to pull off. Alright. That'll do. Stopping the fuel, or the thruster. Uh, ideally, that wants to be 100. We are nowhere near where we need to be. Alright, hang on. We're going to activate... <laughs> we are screwed, by the way, just to let you know. But we're going to try and activate the manoeuvre now. Uh, bring this out a bit. Oh, no, wrong way. Shh. And then, what we want to do is grab that and pull it this way. Oh, Jesus. Basically, what we've made is a glorified plane at this rate. I need to be able to... Is that in orbit? Right. Come on, we got this. I need to, I need to move this so that... There we go. Is that... Yes, that is in orbit. Right. Come out of this. Um... How do I come out of this? Oh, M. Yes. Right, now, if I move or turn off my SAS and RCS, I need to be able to tilt my plane. Not my plane. Yeah, might as well be. We might as well call it a plane. Over in this direction. And you can see that blue dot on the map. That is my, um, my burn direction. Burn direction. I've got a little bit of fuel. Let's hope we can pull this off. 
and activate SAS and RCS again. That'll keep us on track. Spin around a little bit. <laughs> it doesn't want us to spin. Right, I guess whilst we're up here, we can extend our solar panels. Here we go. We got this. We got this. Oh yeah. Uh, T minus 30 seconds until we need to burn. And by burn, I mean activate our thrusters at full power and hope that we get into orbit. Jesus Christ, this is going to be shit. Okay, we're at 83,000 feet and falling. So we've actually got a downward uh, movement right now. Alright, let's start spinning up our... Increase that a little bit as we approach our node. And full thrusters! Jesus, we have nowhere near enough fuel. Okay. <laughs> Our engine's about to... Yep, there they go. We are falling towards the Earth at a, a scary speed. Unactivating SAS and RCS. I'm going to spin the ship round. You know what? Fuck the system. I'm using my solar panels as wings. We're going to glide this bitch down. We got this. We've got this. Oh no! RCS! SAS, come on. Sort me out. This is not the direction I'll be facing. I'll activate them. See if I can spin around again. Come on. Come on. Spin around. Spin around. Spin around. Activate RCS and SAS now. Here we go. If I just get into the right angle, we should be good. <laughs> oh. It was nice to be in space. I'm actually still in space, actually, technically, right now. 56,000. Oh look, I'm gliding! This is working! We're gonna fly! Who needs to go into space anyway? Space is for losers. Yeah. Alright. Sweet. You can see my RCS thrusters in action. Gloriously keeping me on track. As I fought, descend towards the Earth at blinding speeds. Over a thousand meters a second, actually. So that's over a kilometer a second I'm approaching the Earth. Here we go. Oh, I can hear the sound of Earth coming up now. That's not a good sign. That means I'm approaching atmosphere. Which is going to put my spaceship under some intense pressure. An intense... Oh no! <laughs> Our wings! Our wings have gone! Deactivate LCS and SES. We are going for a dive. Bob Kerman. It's been a pleasure. But I think you might be a little bit... Oh no, wait! You're not dead! EVA! Yeah! How do I trade my parachute? Oh god, I don't have a parachute! You are going to hit the water at a pretty high speed. And it's probably going to hurt. Oh god, that noise. That is so loud. Sorry. Sorry. Bob. You're screwed. Ready? Splodoosh. And that's the end of him. Where's my spaceship? Oh well. Right, back to the vehicle assembly building. We need to... I'll tell you what we need to do. Just move these out of the way for a minute. We need more rocket boosters. So, if we just get ourselves some of these brackets, maybe two, strap them to the side of our rocket here, or maybe a bit higher up, like there, yeah, we got one on both sides. And then, we find ourselves... Where are they? I'll be over here, wouldn't they? Would I be over here? I don't know. Next. Oh, here they are. Solid rocket boosters. Not these ones. We'll get the larger ones. See if we kind of attach those to the ship. Somehow. Can we? Okay. Scrap these. Oh no! I just deleted the whole ship. Yes, oh, I can. Thank God for control. Z. Right. Structural. Where are the big. Oh, there they are. Radical detachments. These are really dangerous. I hate using these. But they might be necessary for this case. Why stop there? We're adding more. We're going to make. Uh, oh, God, this is going to be sketchy at, the, at best. 
two more powerful rockets. Right, uh, let's have a look. This is how my staging is going to work. Um, actually, this needs to become number one, and that needs to become number two. What's going? Uh, no, this this needs to join actually. This needs to come into number one. Right, I've got two stages. Stage one, uh, boosters activate, uh, and so do these girders holding onto the rockets. I need to reattach those. That's going to send my ship off. And when these have depleted their fuel, this main one's going to activate, and these are going to jet us off. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. Let's clear the pad and see how this goes down. Oh, I can only imagine it's going to go bad. But this is more of a traditional style of spaceship, one that's historically been more successful. But we can we can hope. We have hope. They're on a bit of a weird angle. Doesn't matter though. Oh, it's wobbly. Right, throttle up. That was a blinding failure. Back to the assembly building, end the flight. It's a really cold day and I decided to drink a Coke. My nipples are like razor blades. Okay. Power up. Release. Here we go. RCS, SAS activated. We're climbing. I want to get at least 250 meters a second squared before these get detached. We're on track. A little bit of, um, we don't have to be perfectly pinpointed upwards. A little bit of an angle is always good. And this time we're going to get a little bit of a different approach towards space. I'll show you how in just a sec. It's actually naturally bending towards a certain direction, but that should fix itself after we jettison these boosters. Uh, hopefully they don't crash into the side of our spaceship. I mean, that would be awkward as shit. Or destroy one of our solar panels. Alright, we're at 2, 205, 210, 215, and they're about to run out of fuel. Alright, that fuel. This should detach them. Here we go. Yes. And plenty of fuel now, I think. We don't have any other stages. Right, when we get to the limosphere, what we get? What's that? A bot? No, <laughs> that is not the button we want to be pressing right now. Right. Okay. We're making serious altitude now. Oh, my cat wants to get out. There you go, cat. <sighs> be free, my little babies. Be free. Alright. We're not quite where we need to be yet. Almost, though. We're almost there. We can start powering down our main thrusters soon. Our fuel is half gone. Alright. Powering down a little bit. RCS off. Tilting the spaceship in a certain direction like this. Perhaps 90 degrees. Reactivating the RCS thrusters. Actually, a little bit more, a little bit more. To there. Full speed again. Right. This is help us this is gonna help us get into an orbit. Press M. Right, this ideally, yep. Yeah. Okay, we're at hundred, right. Now I need to add a maneuver. We need to sp I keep doing that wrong. Right, right, this needs to work. This needs to work. Oh, I need to sort this orbit out. There we go, bring it back this way. That's a pretty juicy orbit. Can I shrink it down a little bit to make it a bit more realistic? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, that's good. Let's see if we can't find where our node is. I'm hoping we have enough fuel. Estimated burn needs to be a minute. Is it this way? Where's our burn? I need to find it. Where are you? Oh, here it is. Oh, slow down, slow down. No, go back the other way, go back the other way, go the other way. <laughs> Shit. Okay. 
Steady. Steady. We've got 18 seconds till we need to be in this burn. This needs to hurry up. Come on, 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 come on. Almost there, almost there. Activate. Start burning. Increase burn. Full burn. This needs to last us a minute. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. That yellow bar is needs to get to the bottom before our fuel runs out. Oh, it's just so tense. Our speed is increasing, though, so that should have a snowball effect and increase with it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. This is not going to work. Come on. Get me there. Get me there, baby. That's <laughs> okay. Are we in orbit, though? No, we're not. Damn it! We're heading towards Earth. Oh! We needed to get higher with those other rockets. Anyway. I'm going to sit here gloriously floating sp through space and end the video. I'm not going to show you my ultimate failure because we are going to head towards Earth at some point and crash. Anyway, guys. I hope you've enjoyed watching me fail at Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to play more of this, though. Next episode, we're going to get into orbit. And then we're going to make a space station. And then we're going to fly to the moon. And then we're going to fly to Mars. And we're going to make some epic videos as well. Let's see some barrel rolls. Glory barrel rolls. We could, become, we could become a deep space washing machine. That's my business plan. Don't steal it. Alright, guys. Laters!